Okay, what's going on guys? We have this question right here, it's asking The beam is 280 pounds per feet Determine the internal normal force, shear force and the moment at point C So let's see how we can calculate this one So first of all, uh, I would like to mention the forces here This this can have two forces, so it's going to be AY and AX but this is only one force, uh, one force possible that's uh, horizontal so it's going to be let's say this bx and the question is asking to find the shear force normal force and the moment around point c so let's see how we can calculate so before we go further we uh, this is 280 uh, pounds per feet it means this is a equal force acting along all the beam so we have to find the exact force acting in the exact location right so to do that what we have to do is we have to mul multiply this distance by this this base so it's going to be the w is going to be 280 pounds per feet multiply by the total total distance so it's going to be 10 feet so if you multiply you get 2800 pounds so this is going to be our weight acting on the uh, exact middle so uh, since this is a big number I would like to take it as a kilo pascal uh, kilo kilo pounds so it's going to be if you divide this one by 1000 we will get 2.8 kilo pounds so it's going to be exactly in the middle so since the height is a uh, total distance is 10 feet so it's going to be acting in the fifth feet so let's put that one down right here so this is going to be my W so first of all uh, since we have to find the C we have two unknown forces in the A uh, but we have we only have B, uh, one unknown force in the B so it's easy to calculate B rather than A so let's go let's calculate uh, B so to find uh, to calculate B I have to I have to take moment around A to eliminate these two of them so if I take if I take moment around A it's going to be equal to zero in statics and let's take clockwise let's say clockwise positive and if I take clockwise positive this weight is going to pulling this object clockwise and we have found it's equal to 2.8 kilo pounds 2.8 kilo pounds and this is going to be 5 feet from this both sides 5 feet from side but we have to know five, uh, it's five feet, up, feet from A so since this is five feet from A we have this is uh, let's say this is making theta angle we have to calculate this angle to uh, measure the distance so it's, let's calculate so to find the angle I can use the tan theta so it's going to be opposite of adjacent so tan inverse is going to be uh, tan inverse Tan in, uh, theta is going to be tan inverse opposite is 8 feet and 6 feet if I divide 8 over 6 I will get 53.13 degree so it's going to be 53.13 degree since we have this information now I can calculate the moment so let's so this is 2.8 kilopascal kilopascal and this is 5 feet so I am taking this direction right this is y this is our x and to find the horizontal distance I have to calculate like 5 feet cos theta so it's going to be 5 feet times 5 feet cos theta 5 cos theta then that's that's one one force that creating movement and another one is the bx is also creating movement but the height is 8 feet and we can directly apply it here so it's pushing this object in the counter clockwise therefore it's going to be negative minus bx times 8 is equal to 0 so from this information you can uh, we have found the theta already so we can directly apply the theta and find the bx so bx comes out to be 1.05 kilo pounds since the answer is positive it means our direction is right so we don't have to change anything since we have found bx now we can uh, use the method of section to separate this part we can cut this part into two pieces now I draw this this part as a separate so we can easily calculate the C values so let's see so this is 
my b this is my c right so we have a weight acting on now it's going to be acting two feet from the c because we have cut this part and the total uh, total distance is seven feet since uh, the seven feet we know the weight is acting in the exactly in the five feet so it's going to be two feet above so this is going to be my weight is 2.8 kilopascal but we have to know the angle that's making here like uh, <coughs> so to find the angle uh, let's see how we can find so here we go here we have theta right here so if I make a triangle right here if this is theta this is going to be 90 minus theta if this is 90 minus theta if I take a perpendicular I am taking this perpendicular right so if, if I take this perpendicular right here the total line should be 90 degrees so if this is 90 minus theta this should be in theta so we know this is a theta and also when I cut this part we also know uh, the horizontal common this is also a theta and also we are gonna, gonna have bx right here B, bx and this is gonna make theta along with this axis and that's all we have also we know this is two feet so let's mention that two feet right here and the total distance is seven feet total distance is seven feet okay what else do we need to know uh, <coughs> so we we have the all the information so let the forces of uh, c so in the in the c we are going to have a normal force acting um, this is just an assumption you can take this direction or down direction so let's uh, let's take this direction so if you take this direction and a shear force shear force is acting this direction this is also an assumption so it's, it can be any direction if you get the answer positive it means your assumption is right if you get the negative answer then you have to uh, mention that's the opposite direction that's it and this is going to be NC, this is going to be VC, and we have to find the moment too. So, moment, let's say it's acting clockwise. This is also an assumption. So, let's, uh, that's all we need to know. So, these are the three information we have to find. So, first of all, in this case, what we can do is um, instead of taking X and Y as a, this direction, we can, we can, um, set our x and y axis along with this beam so it's let's say so it's going to be i'm taking x as this this side and y as this one so if i take this one then if it takes sigma f of x equal to zero in statics and if it take the this direction positive and solve for this one this is going to be um, b x cos theta it's, it's going to be in, negative direction so minus bx cos theta and we are we are going to have weight so we know the weight is making theta degree right here so um, w sine theta is going to be negative so negative w sine theta and we are going to have nc is going to be positive in the positive direction is equal to zero those are the only three horizontal forces we have and that's it so from this information we can we already know the bx right here so we, we know the theta too so we know bx we know theta we know w we know <coughs> we can apply all of the information and find the nc so if we find the nc it comes out to be 2.87 kilopounds since the answer is positive we know the direction is right so we don't have to change anything then if I do summation of f of y equal to 0 and if I take upper direction positive this is going to be negative because acting downside so it's going to be bs bx sine it's going to be positive because it's acting in the, this direction right so it's going to be positive bx sine theta so bx sine theta and w is going to be negative it's acting in the down direction so it's going to be w cos theta negative ne negative w cos theta 
and we are going to have a PC acting in the posterior direction and that's all we have so this is equal to 0 so if we find the VC it comes out to be 0.84 kilo pounds then we can calculate the moment around C so moment around C I, I took the clockwise direction so let's say clockwise positive and equal to 0 we calculate it's going to be positive MC and so we are taking this uh, so we shouldn't forget this, we are taking this directions so let's say let's see so since this is the direction we have to find this one for this it's going to be Vx sin theta Vx sin theta and is pushing this object counterclockwise so it's going to be a negative number so minus Vx sin theta and the distance is 7 feet so it's going to be multiplied by 7 and W is creating moment in clockwise and the distance is so we don't so here the distance is so the this is w cos theta okay so since we are taking this direction we know the two feet right so it's two feet it's pushing this object two feet downside and also it's going to be a cos theta so because we are taking along this axis so it's going to be w cos theta pushing this object down so it's going to be positive because it's going to be clockwise right so it's going to be positive w cos theta <coughs> times 2 equal to 0 so those are those are the only forces creating moment so we can calculate the mc from this the mc is going to be equal to 2.52 kilo pounds feet so this means uh, this is acting in the clockwise direction so we don't have to change anything and that's it these are the three information they are asking to find normal force, shear force and the moment at point C that's all we need to know and I hope you guys like this video see you next time